Hey folks, this is Deco here, and welcome back to Metro Exodus. So things are going oddly. We finally escaped the basement full of nasty, I don't know, worms and their kind of a thing. Um, we're seeing ghosts all over the place outside now. Um, Anna's not there. We have been dealing with um, giant apes that have been blinded and are super scary. So that's, you know, not good. Um, things have gone better, but we will continue on because of course we will. I'm really tired of hearing voices in my head, I'm not going to lie. This doesn't look good. Hello. And what, pray tell, are you? I mean, death and biohazard doesn't exactly say, like, medicine to me, but... Is this it? Hello, baby. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh crap. Um, quick, into the hole! Get into the hole! Um, um, get! Oh, I hate these things so much! Oh crap. Don't lose, box. Unlikely to have another chance to get back here. Come on, go, 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 go! Come on! Okay, falling to my death is actually the least bad thing that could be happening to me at the moment. Okay, see, this is not so bad. Um, stupid monkey. Ooh, gruesome. So that's exactly how that was supposed to happen. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Filters. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Yes, that's not good. This is why we need to move a little faster. Or have friends. Friends are also good. Um, little help here? Stay with me. Hold on. Son. You didn't lose that box, did you? Just a minute. You'll get back now. You found that you did. Yeah. <laughs> You're not sounding too Don't great either, buddy. Don't even think about it. Not what I can for them, huh? Uh, our team died. <laughs> that that was rhetorical. Ah, good. Box. No sleeping, soldier. No sleeping now. I did find you after all. Don't know how. <laughs> Stay with me, Artyom. Did you see Anna that wasn't there as well? He's not sounding so good, man. And this is new. He was okay when we split up just a little bit ago. Hello. What's up? Are you You're old enough alive. to drive? Alive. I thought I was all alone again. Get up, quick! All right. All right. He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. Asleep, huh? Okay. It's just a straight to drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but. You're a little short. He just not like this. Is this filter okay? Alright, you'll be fine. Let's get going. Ooh. Can you drive? Hooray! We're 
going again. Ish. Let's do this. Ready? Let's see if I've gotten any better at driving in the last few minutes. That box had better have what we need in it. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. He does that. He's good at that kind of a thing. It's one of the many reasons we get along okay when he's not, like, in a big soliloquy. Yeah. They were pretty awful. I saw them there, too. Come on. Almost there. They better have found a plow. Come on, our team. Keep it together. Come on, buddy. Almost there. It's okay. So many new things. Ooh, this is getting hard to drive. How far away is this train? Okay, okay. So far, so good. Hold it together. Hold it together. We really walk this far? And carriages too. Everything's blocked. Um I don't Um Okay. Just got stuck in something quick. Okay. We're all good. It's better now that I found the headlights. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get going. This is our only van, so if I screw it up, we're in a lot of trouble. Ugh. That's a fine sound. That's a noise that's supposed to happen out of the back of your truck. Come on, buddy. Keep it up. Almost there. Hey, we go. Eyes on the prize. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, don't fall asleep. Doing my best, man. Almost there. Almost there. Ah. Shouldn't you be wearing a mask? Careful. Ah, that's a good sound. Nice. Plow and all. 
right? Nice. Guys, good to see ya. This really comes back full circle, doesn't it? Right back to the beginning. An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there's human blood. blood. Right? What's his blood type? AB positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep. Hello. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, that's... What? How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. Okay. Hey, guys. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Hello. Don't you dare to hear us. Just don't you dare. Got a whole life ahead of you, and kids. So fight for it. Well, fight. After this much radiation. Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. I don't understand our perspective here. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet. Not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end, not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> That's not how that works. Come on, let's go. My friend, time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, huh? You. This, uh, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? That won't help your blood. You know, I finally feel like I belong somewhere. I am no longer an outsider. You Glad to have you with together, us. Artyom. You must survive. For all of our sakes. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal. Ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. Don't be down in the metro. I just... Just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool, I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look, he's smiling. Smiling in his sleep. He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. Uh, don't be I'm so down on yourself, man. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. You were doing the best you could at the information at the time. Don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can 
you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> All right, will do. I'm keeping her up. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. Aww. I really like this place. Wow, it's that was clean. symbolic. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> uh, and sure. The most important thing. My time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up. Lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. You did a good job, Goodbye. man. Commander, time to wake up. Come Welcome on. back, Commander. Rise and shine, son. Hey, guys. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. I'm feeling better. I feel happy. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children. Who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels? Hey, don't be down on the tunnels. But under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Yeah, sure. I suppose. Unanimously approved. So. What would your orders be, sir? Second star to the right. Straight on to morning. I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. That's a little enigmatic. Nice. Well, that was cool. Let me tell you what. This game was a lot of fun. Um, if we go ahead, let's uh, skip past the name here for a moment. Besides the NPCs, I love basically everything about this game. I've complained about them a lot during the series. The last thing I'm going to say about them is, a story is fine, but you can't give us the story in 10-minute blocks of NPCs talking at each other. It's just... Woo. Besides that, I love this game. I like... It was obviously beautiful. I thought uh, the mechanics were fun. I thought the uh, enemies were interesting and varied. The guns were a lot of fun. I liked basically all the mechanics. It was really quite an entertaining game. Except for the name. If you call this game Exodus, I will wholeheartedly recommend it to you. No questions asked. This was not a Metro game. <laughs> um, I think the things that really separated a Metro game from other games, especially the first, was, I guess, three things. Uh, first of all, the total hopelessness. Everyone's going to die. Like... When we were trying to defeat the Dark Ones, the only thing there was just try to buy a little more time for our station before we all starved to death. I would say the second thing was uh, the severe lack of materials. Like, every bullet really mattered. We couldn't just stop and, you know, craft at least some more basic ammo. You couldn't really do that here. I like the backpack mechanic in general, but it didn't really have that same feeling of incredible scarcity as Metro 2033 did. And then, of course, tunnels. I mean... It's right there in the name, Metro. You know, the only time you go outside should be these incredibly brief encounters because the surface was just almost indescribably hostile. So with those complaints aside, if we ignore the fact that this was supposed to be a Metro game, hands down, go buy this. I loved it to death, and I'm willing to overlook the fact that most of it took place outside. 
So thanks for watching through to the end. I hope you've had a good time. I know I have, and I hope to see you again soon.